Welcome to the Virtual Training Company course Masterclass Using Secure Shell. I'm Bobby Rogers and I'm going to be your host and guide throughout this course on using Secure Shell. Secure Shell is a great way to enable remote access and remote administration to networked computers in a secure manner. There are a lot of things we're going to talk about during this course, but first we're going to go into an introduction on Secure Shell and kind of tell you exactly what it is and what it does and why it's good for you to use. We'll talk about installing it on various platforms, including Linux and Windows, and we'll talk about configuring it as well. Then we're going to talk about basic Secure Shell use. We'll cover the different basic functions of Secure Shell, or SSH as it's more commonly known, to include remote access, basic remote access, and basic file copy. Then we'll look at using SSH with other services, and we'll talk about tunneling other services through SSH so you can use even unsecure services in a secure manner across unsecure networks. We'll then look at the finer points of actually securing SSH. Although SSH is a very secure protocol in itself, it can be configured incorrectly so that it has vulnerabilities that others could exploit. We'll look at how to secure it so that it can be used uh, to the best possible security level you can get. And then we'll look at some final thoughts. We'll look at some best practices. We'll also look at some resources you can use to help you use Secure Shell better. Now we've set up a small network to demonstrate how Secure Shell is used and I want to give you a, a brief overview of how the network is going to be set up. First of all, we're using three VMware virtual machines on a network we set up, and it's the 172.16.30 network. And we're going to have three boxes on that network, as I said. Two OpenSUSE 11 boxes, Linux boxes, running Secure Shell, and also a Windows XP box. And we'll use that for various things, including sniffing the wire for unsecure traffic and some FTP demos and some other things. So basically we've got two Linux boxes and a Windows box and those are great boxes to test Secure Shell out on and just to set up a small basic lab on. And the reason we tell you how this network is set up is so that you can do some of these demonstrations on your own, set up your own small laboratory and actually do these things hands on so you can see better how Secure Shell works. Here's a small network diagram of how we have the lab set up. Very simple. We've got our two computers, our OpenSUSE 11 computers, which are computer A and computer B. And you see their IP addresses there in front of you. Uh, computer A, which is an OpenSUSE 11 box, is 172.16.30.20. And it's connected over an Ethernet network. And we've got computer B, which is also an OpenSUSE 11 Linux box. It's 172.16.30.30. Now our Windows XP box that we'll be using for various things during various times is computer C and it's 172.16.30.10. Now you can set up your network this way if you like. This is a very simple network to set up or you can set it up any way you like so you can learn how OpenSUSE Linux does Secure Shell and how Windows interacts with Secure Shell and so forth. You can set it up any way you like. So let's go ahead and start and we'll get into Secure Shell and how it works.